Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. We give blessings to you and your family this morning, my God, and we give a clap offering to the Lord this morning because he got us up again in our right mind. Somebody got up this morning, I'm telling you, didn't even know who his wife was, didn't know who her husband was, didn't even know who their children was, and you're not blessed, my God. Some people went to the cupboard this morning and looked in the, in the pantry. They got food in the pantry, looked in the refrigerator, got 15, 20 meals in there and 15, 20 meals in the freezer. My God, got a little cool in the house last night because of your babies. You went to the thermometer over there and turned it up a little bit. You're not blessed. Got a nice old car. It ain't a new car. My God, but it's a car. And it goes, it takes you to A and B. You're not blessed. If you look in your wallet and you got a $20 bill in there, you blessed this morning. Somebody in the, looked in their pocket this morning and don't have anything. Just keeping it real on this Tuesday morning. My God, I'm going to call it Loving Tuesday. Love on somebody today. You know you haven't called your mama. You haven't called your dad. You ain't called your family members in years. My God, it's time to stop meeting only at funerals as family members. Because even though you live out of town and you family, you still could give somebody a call sometime. But we know how people are. You got to understand, you got to fight in your own circle because that's your circle. Come on. And all your kin folks don't like you because they got the same last name, if I could just keep it real. And that's 60 years, me knowing that all family members, because they blood, don't like you. And you can't make them like you. Come on, if that makes sense. You have a little something to drink this morning? Have a little drink with me this morning. I'm going to have a little coffee. I hope you're drinking something that's not going to take you another way. But if you do, that's you. The Bible clearly states whatever you do, have a sober mind. So if you're drinking before you go to work, then you have to be careful. Come on. If you're drinking and driving, you have to be careful. Uh, if that makes sense on this Loving Tuesday. Love on somebody today. You see somebody at the uh, speedway, don't have enough gas, they count change up there. Offer them, hey, you need a few more dollars? You know, I do it all the time. Hey, let me put a five on that, man. Go get you 15. Come on. I always help people as much as I can because the Bible lets me know when you give, it comes back to you. Shake it together. Running the over. My God, when you give. You got to be a giver. I'm a giver. I don't mind giving. You know, don't think you slick. You're going to slick me out of something because you're not going to do that. I'm going to give what God tell me to give you if he tell me to give you. And then if he don't, I do it on my own, if that make any sense. But we're going to be talking out of the book of Proverbs chapter 24, verses 16. I really like this because seven is a number of completion, meaning that after you deal with something seven times, you should conquer it by now. Seven is a number of completion. If you had more than one job, you had seven jobs, well, you should know how to go to a job, acting with your character, standing up, and not your attitude, if that makes sense. Well, Proverbs chapter 24, 24, verse 16, it reads, my God, I just love the Bible. I love, you hear them leaves? You hear Bishop Stewart, a good friend of mine, he said, them leaves, them leaves, let you hear that. It says, Proverbs chapter 24, verses 16, he said, For a just man, that's a righteous man, a man that do right. A just man or woman falleth seven times, but raises up against again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth. Don't be happy when people in trouble. And let not thy heart be glad when he stumble or she. So I love that text is just deep enough just to take you to understand that if you fall down, get back up. You're still in the race. Nobody have to t tell you that after you fall that it's all over with. And I think a lot of people, since they don't have God in their life, Jesus Christ, once you fall and maybe didn't have a mom or dad or no one to help you go to another level or encourage yourself or tell you to encourage yourself, you can get in that slump. Even me, I'm doing pretty good in my life, let me tell it. Uh, so I think that... Uh, it, it happens to all of us, but you have to go into that depression if you get depressed and come out of that. Come on, because we all get depressed. Come on. I can sit here and name all 50 things that I want to happen in my life. But what I have to do, I have to work on a one, one event at another event. 
And if you're in a relationship in this time, oh my God, I'm praying for you because it's not easy dealing with another person, especially if they said in their ways, you said in they in your way. So it takes a long time. I uh, remember one time me and my wife, if I could tell the truth to shame the devil, we got to argue. And she said, well, you know, if we have to put the yellow line down the house, that's what we'll do. I said, yeah, we ain't got no problem putting the yellow line down the house, but that drawer over there, you take that side. I'll take this side. Well, you ain't got no bath. You can't come to my bathroom. I said, well, you got the bills. You pay the bills. I'll find out a way how to go to the restroom, if that make any sense. So relationships is tough, and relationships can make your life all over the place. And listen, uh, like I said, relationships is tough. And a lot, I see a lot of young people, you're just in relationships too fast. You're too serious about them. When you got, you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, you're going to go through two or three different people in a lifetime, probably more than that. Uh, if we're just keeping it real. So don't get stuck on someone on the first beginning because you're going to change. Life's going to change. They're going to change. And not to go there, but we're just talking about getting up. If you fall, get up. That relationship was bad, get up. Come on, you can do it on this Loving Tuesday. We'll love on somebody today. You guys be blessed today. Have a good time out there. And just remember, if you fall seven times on the eighth time, get back up and make something happen. I love you all. Guys, be blessed.